Yeah, we've been looking at one of the genetic variants in ADHD. It's uh, one of the dopamine receptors. Uh, it's the D4 receptors. There's probably five types of receptors, and this is the fourth one. And there's a genetic variation in it. And we're particularly interested in the variant that's called the 7-repeat. Now, people know that if you have this 7-repeat variation of the gene, your risk of having ADHD is increased. And this has been found in many studies. You know, it's been replicated in many different countries. Not always, but most of the time. What we were looking at is, can we go a bit further and look at how this vari gene variation relates to clinical outcome and to brain development? So what we find in terms of clinical outcome, I think, surprised us a little bit, is that we find that if you have this risk variation of the gene, then you actually had a slightly better clinical outcome. And some other groups have found this, and some haven't. So it's, a, it's certainly not a settled finding. But interestingly, we also find that if you have this variation of the gene, that you have quite a distinct pattern of cortical or brain development, the cortex, the, the grey outer mantle of the brain. And what you find is that uh, in people who have this risk gene, they show with time a sort of normalization of the early problems they have with their cortex. And this is particularly prominent in a part of the brain called the parietal cortex, which is kind of here on the right side. So that was interesting because in a previous study, we'd found that normalization of this part of the brain in general is associated with having a good outcome of ADHD. So it's a sort of good example of how you can link a gene variation with clinical outcome and then in turn link that with brain development.